Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video on how to use Adapalene. This video is part of a video series on your skin where we will cover all kinds of skin related problems and drugs. If you're looking for any of these videos, check out the playlist in the description or somewhere up there. For those of you who are meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer, because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions and that's what this channel is all about. Now this video also comes with a quick disclaimer, it's meant purely informative, this is not medical advice and if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor and now quickly, let's get started. Now the generic name of this medication is called Adapalene, but it's sold under several brand names, Differin and Plixta, and it's available as a gel. Now then, how should you use Adapalene? First of all, wash your skin with lukewarm water, apply the gel in a thin layer and do not massage it or rub it in. Only apply the gel at undamaged skin and make sure it doesn't come in contact with your eyes, nose or lips. But if it does so, make sure to rinse it properly with a lot of water. It's important here you do not use Adapalene right before, after or during sunbathing. And to avoid this, it's best to apply this medication in the evening. Now when using Adapalene, you might experience results in 8 to 12 weeks of usage. But if you do not have any results, then please contact your doctor and ask if another treatment is more suitable for you. Which brings us to the next question, when should you use Adapalene? And as most of you probably know, Adapalene is used to treat acne. What would then be the correct dosage? You should apply Adapalene gel once a day for at least 6 weeks. Which brings us to the side effects. Adapalene can have amazing results, but unfortunately it also causes some side effects. I will discuss the most common ones here, but if you're looking for a complete list, then check out your leaflet or ask your prescribing doctor. Adapalene causes mostly local skin reaction and commonly it causes dry skin, skin irritation, a burning sensation or redness of your skin. Uncommonly it might cause flaking, eczema, itching, a sunburn or worsening of the acne. Now considering safety, Adapalene is safe to combine with any type of food. You can combine it with alcohol, of course, in moderation and you can drive safely while using Adapalene. However, it can cause some side effects when combining it with other ointments, cream or gels. Therefore, don't apply them at the same time. And if you're applying Adapalene in the evening, then apply the other drug in the morning. This will decrease your chances on skin irritation or any other interactions. And as always, we end off by taking a look at the safety of Adapalene when pregnant or when breastfeeding. And unfortunately, Adapalene can be dangerous for the baby in both cases. Therefore, you should not use it while pregnant or while breastfeeding. Make sure to discuss this with your prescribing doctor and ask for another suitable treatment. Now, I hope you know now how to use Adapalene, which was the whole point of this video because educated people will make healthier decisions and that's what this channel is all about. So if you want to keep on learning, then make sure to check out the playlist in the description or somewhere up there and leave a like, which will help out the channel tremendously. Also consider subscribing, this will help me to reach my new milestone, 10,000 subscriber. Thank you guys, I love you all and as always, I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye.